Hello, Queen. Where they coming from? So I had a lot of questions about that, especially today, networking on one of the groups uh, on Facebook. Um, everywhere when you're experiencing pain, if that was somebody's communication, could be lack of communication, it's still communication, could be somebody said something or experiencing something like you feel numbness. Numbness is also like showing us trauma and that's the most um, dangerous one. Dangerous, if dangerous can harm, it doesn't harm us, but actually does. <laughs> actually does harm us because it's really deep inside us. We numb ourselves and we saying to ourselves, no, it does not exist. What well, actually is so embedded in us, that is there. So we could have numb ourselves to love, numb ourselves to somebody's communication, numb, like many numbing ourselves from emotions even, numbing to others and something does not work that also like is numbness, could be lack of money, that this sort of communication we're having towards ourselves, not communicating with people, it's also trauma. People ask me, oh, I'm not, I, I do communicate. Do you, or are you choosing when to communicate? So for example, for me it was like, when I was in pain, I would not communicate. I would only communicate where I am okay because I created when I was four years old, when I was in pain and I said to my au pair, I wanted to communicate that I, I need her help. She said to me, be quiet, do not disturb. And in that moment I created, especially when I'm in danger, I'm not gonna communicate. I'm gonna find my way. I'm gonna work on my own, I'm gonna find my way. This is so much masculine energy. We can ask for help. We can feel secure. And guys, because of that, I never attract a very masculine man in my life because I would be afraid even um, of that masculine energy overpower me because I decided I'm going to deal with this on my own. So there's certain numbness. And now it's like really tuning in. You're asking me, you know, how you can deal with that, you know, the best is really work with somebody, honestly, because you you are so close with the trauma. You are so constantly with the trauma that you cannot see it. The coach, energy healer, shaman, you know, can lead you through that. If you're working on your own, you're just constantly looking from the same perspective on the same thing. You constantly, you know, it's like you're watching, you know, that exercise they always do, like, like this, you know, you see cup, you see, you see this, but you don't see this, you know, you see that, but you don't see this, you can see page um like blank page and actually there was blood on another side you know so there was constantly like or you see six but actually the person sees nine you know that um exercise where we're doing we've seen that actually um i do another recording when i'm going to give you examples and draw them but that's what we don't see or we don't have that's why coach will tell you that's why I believe as well in group coaching, because in the sharing you will see, you will hear or see, it depends if you like, you will see and hear different view on the same thing. And then suddenly you just like have this aha moment. Oh my God, all my life I was looking at this from the same point of view. Most of the views you were created when you were very little, around three, four years old. So you're constantly looking from the same angle on the same thing. So you may be very clever with this, extremely clever and look on these traumas from suddenly from completely different angle by yourself. 
I'm saying it's very, very challenging to see the same trauma from different angle. You know, even coaches having coaches. I have coaches because I don't see certain things. I want to see things from their perspective because they just way above me, you know, a few steps above me. Sometimes coaches are not really above you, even the same. They just really so tune in in that work that they can see yours. I, trust me, they have their own coaches or energy healers. I've got a few coaches around me, actually. You see, and I still have something about my, you know, speaking out because now I feel pain. I've been recording quite a bit today. And like, you know, my body still doesn't want me to talk. I was four years old, guys, guys, you know, queens. I was four years old when I created this, you know, I'm not going to talk to you. And I still feel pain here, like, you know, like, I still need to do um, some of my thyroid mm, test because I was told recently. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's linked to this four years old Adita because I feel like somebody is holding me not to talk. So that's how we twist it in these traumas, okay? You can go to your childhood and notice. Please record, like watch my recording, my sharing, so you can see that four years old you when somebody told you something and you numb yourself. Or you might decide that enough, it's enough, enough of that pain and start working with others. I'm not saying with me, if I'm not resonate with you, that's, I don't even want you to come to me. I only work with people who resonate with me. But I want to tell you that find somebody who you resonate with and work with that person. Because that person will lead you right to the bottom of the trauma, right in the thing, middle of that trauma. You're gonna be able to look on the trauma from all the angles, you know, from that, from that, from that, from that, from that, and see what all the decision you made about that incident. Yeah? And I promise you made a lot, that's not one. And then you have another incident, and another incident, and another incident. And they have variation on the same incident. And one by one you're taking out and your life is transformed. We're not, we're not healing, and we, we're healing, we're creating transformation. We're not fixing you. Strong coach, and empath, um, I'm not empath, um, intuitive coach, uh, similar, <laughs> small difference, will take you directly there through your, through your experience. I'm taking you through your um, pain. I'm very intuitive, so I go through pain. You're going through your emotions, I'm taking you through your pain. And then, you're taking out by many methods, sending light, sending different emotions to that event, reprogramming that emotion, speaking up, like healing with your own voice, or maybe with my voice, or with somebody else's voice, you can heal that. Um, and then when this moment is transformed, it doesn't show up anymore. And you just like, even me, guess, last three weeks, I work a lot about around showing up on social media. I still had to heal a lot. Traumas, because a lot of guys are talking to me on Facebook. And for me, it was like men attacking me. And I don't like that. And I feel ashamed that I'm bringing sexual attraction. That was me four years old. I brought a lot of sexual attraction. I'm still healing that, you know? I had to heal a lot. And yes, I'm, I'm asking people like for support. Ladies, queens, this is a trap. When you cannot express yourself, say what is there for you in your life and share with others is such a heavy blind walls. Like you are thrown in this 
blank room without light, with soft walls, without door, without handle, and you're there. And you cannot even shout for help. Not even, you would, you would not even dare because your throat chakra does not work. But anyway, it's so well isolated, sound acoustic uh, insulation. You have no chance. So get out of there. It's now or never. Thank you for listening. And let me know if it resonates with you. Thank you.